This is Twit. Gaston D'Aquino says the Apple Watch saved his life. You know, this is something that a lot of people are saying these days. Now, how did it save his life? His heart rate was up, and it yeah. notified him. That's what it almost always seems to be this new, your heart rate's up for no apparent yeah, reason. Yeah, so you're just sitting, yeah. and it's, um, yeah. There was a, a young lady, uh, I think she was a teenager, whose kidney failed. And same thing. Heart rate went way up. Apple Watch warned her. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, she sought medical attention and uh, saved her life also. So I think the Apple Watch has saved... Uh, at, at least three or four lives that I can remember. So that way, I checked into this because I didn't. I didn't really look at that, but um, it does tell you what your resting heart rate should be. There's a feature though that if it spikes, you know that. Right? Yes. Yeah. But I. So okay, we got an email about this because Rob said that um, his it watch happened during the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> People's were sitting in their heart. Right? Yeah, they were all over the country. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> well, he said that when he looked into it, um, his heart rate was elevated for a couple of weeks, but it never reported this to him. And he said, now I can't trust this device anymore. Who can I contact? Mm -hmm. I mean, who can I contact? Is You should probably contact your doctor if your heart rate is elevated. Just ask them. But um, Yeah, I he, wouldn't rely on the Apple Watch to, to save your life. If it happens to, nice. <laughs> But I wouldn't say, oh, yeah, this is all I need now. I'm set. I got anything. Every, and if anything goes wrong, the Apple Watch will tell me. Mm -hmm. That seems like a bad idea. So, yeah, you can turn the notifications off. Is that off. a setting that you have okay. to turn on or Yes. Off? So right. you open the watch app. Let's see. I think I probably turn it off because, you know, I get excited for no reason all the time. Tap the My Watch. My Watch. Okay. And then tap Heart Rate. And, okay, so here it is. So my watch. Elevated heart rate. heart rate. Oh, you can even set what the notification level is. Right. So, so mine's set for 120. Yeah, mine was set for 122, but I moved it down to 110. I should just move it down to 100 and see what happens. I bet it'll go off all the time. I don't think my, I think my, my, my resting heart rate is around 60, though. I now, think it would so tell what it you says what you receive a notification when Apple Watch detects a heart rate that rises above whatever that setting is. While you appear to have been inactive for 10 minutes. So that really is a warning. If you're just lying there and all of a sudden your heart spikes. Yeah, I would, you know what? Maybe 120 is too high. Well, because, I mean, normal humans are 60 to 100 beats per minute. That's normal resting heart rate. Right. So. Well, I my resting heart rate's about 62 or 63. I think it will tell so you. So maybe I should oh, turn mine, it down. My, okay, you can see what your heart rate. But my heart rate. You can show my heart rate variability. Because of because of this, my heart rate goes up during the shows. Where do you see that? That's cool. That's in the health app. Um, so my resting rate is fifty two beats per minute. Oh, that's very healthy. You you really are living a better lifestyle. I, I am. It's the whole that's life very challenge. Good. That's the whole life challenge. Um, yeah, so my max is one thirty five. My minimum my minimum is forty six. So, but mostly it's fifty two. Um, twenty. 21 MS. What does that stand for? 21. That's my heart rate variability. Oh, that's really important. That's how long between... Oh, I'm trying to remember. This was a big deal uh, to measure this. Um, it's variation in the... In, so your heart's beating about once a second, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a variation. It's not always exactly once a second. And so that's the average difference, plus or minus 21 milliseconds. That's a, actually a, a little high. Mm -hmm. Don't know what it means when it's high. I think it means you're tired. Mm, that's true. The higher, the, I think. I, boy, this I probably shouldn't say anything since I don't know for sure. <laughs> Doc, is there a doctor in the house? Doc, well, remember because we were talking a lot about this because uh, this is something people uh, monitor a lot. So my heart rate today between sixty two and one hundred five. But why do you? Why do you only have a little bit of rating and I have so many? That's today. Let me look at month and year. Oh, is that because I woke up at six and you woke up at nine? <laughs> <laughs> uh no i was up at six <laughs> okay but i don't put my watch on first thing oh i do first thing you gotta get, get out of bed the... and you immediately put your watch on gotta get all the points oh that's why you want all the points <laughs> yeah um so for may my very the heart rate variations were fairly high 45 that's that is an anomaly i don't think that's accurate sometimes have you noticed that sometimes the the rate will be half what it normally is mm -hmm. like it's missing a beat to 158. That's accurate. That's accurate. And that's pretty high. So, um, 
Yeah, so based on like, uh, let's do, let's, let me look at the week. Based on the week, you probably should look at this and see what you'd want. Now, all of these higher ones are while I'm exercising. So you, you probably can judge from there where, I think 120 is probably a decent place. Mm -hmm. If it really spikes beyond 120 and you haven't done anything in 10 minutes, I wonder. You must be watching a football game. Yeah, I. Um, this is this is good stuff. I like this. I mean, yeah, because what we what, even now we're doing a show. Walking average, workout my rate, average. My heart rate should probably be higher. How than often it you is. breathe? <laughs> That's not how often you breathe. That's how often you do the breathe app. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I think I do breathe more than that. Uh, elevated heart rate notifications. I don't have any. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting because it'll tell you like when I'm walking, my average heart rate is 81. When I'm doing yoga, it's 114. Yeah. Right That's now it's cool, 74. It, it feels like it should be higher. I, I feel like maybe I'm not working hard enough We're all in interested show. in this stuff, aren't we? We are. Look at my uh, heart rate was 30 at some point this year. Yes, I know that's wrong. There's no way it was 30. When I'm walking, it averages just under 100. When I'm working out, no, I never got to 210. I'd be dead. So look at this more not like all year, exact. zero heart rate notifications. Same thing, 2017. Look at it as just sort of a extra. Um, extra. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not, yeah. And I think Apple will be quick to tell you that. In fact, it's one of the reasons Apple's been cautious about making too many heart, uh, health mm -hmm. claims. Uh, yeah. claims with this, yeah.